it's Christy from the Stamp Cycle here, and today I'm making a card for a special young man. Uh, this is a gentleman that uh, my friend reached out to me on Facebook to see if I would make him a card. He is 12 years old, and he's going in for his third round of chemo. He'll be in the hospital for three weeks. So she was hoping I could make him a special card to send to just let him know that there's all kinds of folks out there thanking of him and, and wishing him well. So I decided to make a interactive slider card and using the Always an Adventure bundle from Stamping Up. In this bundle you get the Always Adventure stamp set and the coordinating outdoor adventure framelits. Um, you can get this at 10% off um, by buying it in a bundle or you can buy um, these these items separately you do not have to get them in a bundle if you don't want to but they make super cute scene cards and I've already used this to make a slider card once before um, so I thought I would try making another so to make this card um, you'll start with a piece of pool party cardstock this is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half and then a couple pieces of mossy meadow that are also cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. You'll also need a piece of crumb cake and then a couple scrap pieces of whisper white that we'll use to cut and stamp some smaller pieces. So the first thing that um, you're going to cut out is the mo mossy meadow pieces. I'm using this tree uh, hillside type die. <laughs> I'm not really sure what you would call that, but I'm going to cut out both of the mossy meadow pieces using this die. These two pieces are going to sit on top of each other. So when you go to cut these two pieces, you want one piece to be longer or taller than the other, and you also want to offset the trees. So I'm going to run the one piece through the big shot with the trees just um, across the sheet of paper, and then the other one I'm going to push the trees all the way to the left and then move the die. Um, and then cut it on the other side. So hopefully that makes sense. For the crumb cake piece, we're going to use this mountain uh, die. This die does fit across a four and a half um, size piece of cardstock. So if you do a top folding card, this, this mountain scene will um, fit exactly across the front of a top folding A2 card. So that's pretty cool. Then I'm also going to cut out six of the mountain snow caps. That's that little die there. And there are six mountains in that die, so I'm going to cut out six of those little snow caps. I'm going to cut out a couple of the clouds. And then I'm also going to use the hot air balloon die um, and cut out a hot air balloon. And then I'm also going to cut out that adorable little bear because that bear is going to be the slider element on our card. Now that I have everything cut out, I didn't want to bore you with you watching me cut all of this out of my big shot, I'm going to start to assemble my scene here. So I'm just going to um, finish cutting that mountain piece out, and then I'm going to get both of these um, hillside tree scenes. And you see the one I had to um, move the die over to get it to cut across with the trees all the way on the left, and I just used my paper snips to kind of finish cutting that. And so then I'm just going to start kind of placing everything on my piece of pool party to just kind of build my scene and decide where I want everything to go. So once I started laying everything out, I realized I needed a bigger piece um, of crumb cake for the mountains. So I cut another piece, leaving more at the bottom so that I had some more wiggle room to move those, those mountains up and down and get perfect placement for the slider card. So now I'm just going to use my MISTI tool here to try to get perfect stamped image of that hot air balloon and that bear onto my die cut pieces. So previously I've stamped these images first onto my Whisper White and then used my dies to cut them out. And I didn't get a very perfect die cut. I still had a lot of white edges that I didn't want. So I thought I would try this technique where you take the negative piece of your die cut then you take your, dot, your stamps and you position the stamps into that negative piece and then you pick them up with your MISTI stamping tool. You put the die cut pieces back into that negative piece and then when you ink up your stamps and you close the MISTI lid onto those die cut pieces, it should stamp 
perfectly. Unfortunately, when I did this, it did not work out as planned, as you will see here when I stamp it. Um, I did not get the perfect stamped image that I was hoping for. I have a hard time working with clean stamps. Um, I do prefer photopolymer, but um, so I, I think it might be better to stamp them and then cut them out with the dies, but give it a try. Just, just see what works best for you. But I did stamp, I used the soft suede ink for the bear and then the Hello Honey ink for the hot air balloon. So I'm just going to, like I said, ink up those stamps, close the misty door, and that will stamp onto those die cuts that I put back into that negative piece. And you'll see here that I did not get as perfect of a stamped image as I was hoping for. So what I did do is I went ahead and just cut that extra um, white edge there with my paper snips to get the look that I was going for. So now I'm just going to start gluing all of these images together, or all these die cuts together. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue all of those snow caps onto the top of each one of those mountain peaks. There are six mountain peaks in this die, so I have six of those little snow, um, snow caps. And I'm going to just glue those onto the top using Ranger multi Multimedium Matte Glue. That glue does dry clear and matte, so if you do get a little too much on there, um, you won't be able to see it once it dries. So now I'm just going to continue to build my scene. I'm just going to use some of that Tombow multi-purpose glue to glue down the mountains and then that first bit of the tree line there. And then I'll use some dimensionals to pop some of these other elements up on the card. So I'm just building the base of my scene and then um, I will work on the slider. So now I'm going to work on the slider piece. I've got the thin greetings from Stamping Up. I'm going to use that little hello uh, die there for my sentiment. And then I'm using these awesome Lawn Fawn slider uh, die cuts. These make creating slider cards super easy. They give you a lot of different options for sliders. I'm just going to use the longest straight edged slider window for this card. And I'm just gonna position that um, high enough that it won't interfere with the hello when I slide the little bear across. So I'll get that slider die positioned perfectly and I'll run that through my big shot along with that hello die. The hello I'm gonna cut out of some hello honey. And then the slider piece is in that piece of mossy meadow that we cut out earlier. Now that everything's cut out, we are going to finish up this slider element. So I have some buttons from Stampin' Up! These are retired. I've had them for a while. That just green square button fits perfectly behind that bear, but is big enough so that it won't slide through that slider window. So we're just going to take some, this is some 3M foam adhesive. I'm going to fold that back on itself to give me a double layer of this foam adhesive. You need your adhesive to be thick enough so that when you apply the slider onto the card, there's enough room between the slider piece and your card base that that slider element can go back and forth without um, scraping against the front of your card. Hopefully that makes sense. So I've got this foam adhesive double, doubled up here, and then I'm just going to cut it in half because again, with the slider card, you don't want the adhesive to be in the way. So we need some thinner strips of this double adhesive. So we can apply that on the edges of our slider front here. So I'm just gonna use some scissors and cut that in half, and then I'm going to apply a, the strip of that adhesive to the edges of this slider piece making sure that I get far enough away from the slider window that it doesn't interfere with that slider element, but also that it doesn't peek out any sides of, of, the, of that tree line or at the bottom so that you don't want to see uh, the adhesive that you're putting behind there. So you could use dimensionals. Um, Stamping Up also has a new product out that are uh, foam adhesive strips. You could use that here too. I like this 3M mounting tape because it comes in a humongous roll and I've had it for a while now and I'm still like maybe halfway through it. So um, it works great for cards like this, shaker cards. Um, so I just like to use that 3M foam tape. I'm going to add an additional piece there just to give this some more stability, um, to give it just, just a little bit more of that foam adhesive. 
So then I'm going to start working on that bare slider piece. So I'm going to cut a piece of that same foam adhesive that we doubled up, and I'm going to cut it in a square that is big enough to cover that button, but also small enough so that it slides freely within that slider window. You don't want your foam adhesive to be too big that it doesn't fit in your slider window because that is the piece that's going to be sliding back and forth. So your button's going to be what kind of holds that bear in place um, so that it can slide in the window. The foam adhesive is what's kind of running back and forth along that window edge. And then your bear will go right on top of the other side of that foam adhesive and then that creates your slider. Super easy, super cute. Um, so many things you could do with, with this type of card, but there's the little bear and he slides across nice and easy. Now we'll just adhere this whole slider piece to the front of our card base and we just want to make sure we line that up perfectly along the bottom and then push down to get um, that foam adhesive to stick to the back. Then we're going to take that hello sentiment that we cut out and I'm going to glue that onto a piece of fun foam that I've cut out using that same hello die. This fun foam is going to give that sentiment some dimension on the front of our card. So once we get that glued together, we will then use that same Ranger Multimedia mat to glue that sentiment onto the front of our card. You want that hello low enough on the card so that it doesn't interfere with our bare slider. And then once we get that glued on, the next thing we'll do is create our card base. I'm going to use some thick Whisper White cardstock. This is an A2 top folding card base. I'll just take some um, Tombow multi-purpose glue and just glue that whole slider front onto this top folding card and that finishes the card. Super easy slider. This is a great card for teenagers, adults, anyone. Super easy. So thanks for stopping by. I'll check you guys on the next video.